What was the appeal for you, the dresser, when you first read the script? Well, the cast that? list was rather appealing, I have to say. Um, Richard Eyre sends you a script and the first two names you read are Anthony Hopkins and Ian McKellen. Okay, I'll play the chair, I don't mind, or I'll be the table. No, it was truly a very great privilege to be there. It was a little bit like being picked to play for England. Um, and also just a great role. I mean, what a really sad, complex woman whose life has kind of been sucked up in the vortex of somebody else's brilliance um, and has kind of just suddenly gone. She's standing there, you know, the love of her life, who is also sort of the hate of her life, has suddenly now dis disintegrating in front of her eyes. And she sees her whole life as kind of past. And although Richard said he wanted to cast her as, or me to play her as somebody who could still have it in her to be in another relationship, she'd find somebody else. She was still sort of a sexual force in some way. She really wants him to give up, doesn't she? Yeah. Particularly when he collapses to retire. That's her yeah. main driving force through the, the piece, isn't it? I think so. Um, well, she just doesn't want to be on the end of that string anymore, of his devotion to whatever it is. Um, but at the same time, I think, you know, she we huge. It's not that she wants to settle down and retire with him, maybe, but she has massive regrets of her own. She could have been, she thinks she probably could have been a film actress. She could have been something. And as it is, she just feels like she's a fat old has-been. So what was it like when you got to work with Anthony and Ian, when you thought, worked, walked pretty, in on that first it day? It was pretty terrifying, actually. Um, you know, however much you've done and however long you've been there and how many times you've been around the block, that's quite a scary day. The really scary bit was the first day of shooting because we, you know, those scenes are really, really long and it was an awful lot to remember, an awful lot to get your teeth into. and um, Just the fear of Sorry, we shouldn't say that. The fear of getting it wrong is, was, you know, was a lot. Did they put you at ease, though? Were they very friendly? and They were delightful. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think they were both quite nervous at, at themselves. It was a very big deal for both of them. But, yeah, they were delightful. They, you know, they, you don't get that far and be that great without being great human beings as well. Had you seen any other previous productions, either the film version or stage I'd versions? I'd seen the film. I hadn't seen it on stage. I knew the play, but I hadn't seen it. And how do you reckon this compares to, to that? I think it's of a very different time. Um, I think that film belonged to a different era of production and all sorts of things. Um, it's, you know, I think it, 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 it is a play that stands the test of time, absolutely. It feels very, you know, it still has that great passion and love for the theatre and hate of it, and but also is a piece about mortality. <laughs> it's wonderful, and it's, it's a great vehicle for one of our, our, you know, our greatest actors, and I'm sure there will be other people who interpret it. How close do you reckon it is to real life from your experiences of actors, dresses? Um, I think the relationship with the, the dresser, you don't get quite the same thing, but you do get people sort of have a PA or an assistant that, you know, that's sort of in a similar vein, that just will do absolutely everything and anything for somebody. Um, and it's a really devoted relationship. Um, but yeah, it's the smell of it, the, the smell of what it's like to be in the theatre and that kind of the show must go on. Have you had any similarly chaotic or memorable nights in the theatre that things just kept going wrong? Um, yeah, I've, yeah, no, I've been on stage where everybody on stage is... I've been on stage when everybody on stage was really ill um, and had terrible diarrhoea. Well, that's, that was in, in a theatre tour in India. I just knew that everybody was really ill. Um, I've been on stage where just hundreds of things go wrong and the entire cast is on the floor laughing. I was once at the RSC when on um, Boxing Day and an actor turned, the lead actor in a play was ill and the understudy had to go on. The understudy turned up late for the half, still drunk, couldn't remember a word. 
it was as if somebody had died. It was just shocking. It was absolutely shocking. But quite funny. 